Meet Nick Hud, biochemist and astrobiologist at Georgia Tech. Now, he's a biochemist, so I sat down with him at a conference, and we talked about the origin of life and RNA, and here's one of the papers that he's written, The Origin of RNA and My Grandfather's Axe. So let's hear what he has to say about Are We Alone? My name is Nicholas Hud. Okay, what, what do you do? I am a chemist at Georgia Institute of Technology in Atlanta, Georgia. I have been studying the origin of nucleic acids, DNA and RNA, for about 20 years now. And the more I've studied these molecules, the more I'm convinced that the chemistry that gave rise to these molecules is quite robust and likely to be occurring at many places in the universe. It looks like RNA probably started with a molecule a little different. That's what the hypothesis that we're working on. And the, what we would call a proto-RNA molecule, the molecule that came before RNA, has components that look like they would have survived for a very long time on the surface of the Earth. That's what, one of the things that I say about being robust, that they're, you might say, hardy molecules, that once they're generated, they'll stay around for quite a long time. And the reactions that would have brought them together to make RNA, RNA is a very big, long molecule, what we call a polymer. Um, those reactions look like they're quite easy to carry out. They would be mostly driven by wet, dry cycles. And so if you have a planet that is in what we like to call the habitable zone, not too hot, not too cold, um, and it has a water cycle, and it has an atmosphere like what we had on the early Earth that would generate uh, molecules that we think would have been on the early Earth, I think it's quite likely that uh, life would start. I've heard that uh, we think that RNA preceded DNA. If that's the case, why do you think that? Why do people think that? Do you agree with that? Not necessarily. Um, I don't think that DNA came before RNA. I think if you are asking uh, which one is older, RNA or DNA, um, I would definitely side with RNA. And the reason for that is that the main difference between RNA and DNA uh, is that the sugar in DNA is deoxyribose, and the sugar that is in the backbone of RNA is ribose. And it's easier to see how ribose would have been made before we had biological organisms. And the reaction to convert ribose into deoxyribose is actually quite a complicated reaction that I think required the development of enzymes. And so I think that that was a little bit later. Um, so you do think RNA preceded DNA? I, well, here's where I'm gonna say that I don't think so because I think that they may have come about at the same time because I think that they're a descendant of a common ancestor. I think that there was a molecule before DNA and a molecule before RNA. We could call it proto-RNA. And I think that that molecule evolved and at some point it split into two uh, distinct polymers, which are DNA and RNA. And um, all life, does all life on Earth have a common origin? Yes. What's the evidence for that? The evidence is that there are a set of molecules that are common uh, between all of life. For example, uh, amino acids. The 20 amino acids that make up our coded proteins are universal um, across all living organisms. We're using the same. And to a very good approximation, the genetic code is the same across all living organisms. And based upon models for evolution, when we look at, say, how genes change over time, uh, if we take that information and we extrapolate it back from all known organisms, it seems to point to the same place, what we would call a universal common ancestor. 